What's up guys, ABC Matt here. Good morning. Uh, today I'm going to an estate sale. Um, there's not much garage sales going on. Even this estate sale, it's not gonna be the greatest because I know right off the bat because they have um, consignment they're doing during the sale. So that means that the prices will be pretty high. But anyway, it's worth a shot and take a look at what they have. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome to my channel. If you're not familiar with me, I go to yard sale, garage sales, estate sales. I find undervalued items and sell them online Morning. like eBay, Mercari, what have you. So I come to this estate sale because there wasn't much out there. And through the pictures, I thought these, these plates were Fiesta wear. It turned out they're not. You know, naive me who don't know kitchenware that well and still learning. I, I, I thought those was Fiesta wear. It turns out it's uh, you know, highly mainstream product, so it's not worth it. I'm just looking over there. I mean, the kitchen stuff was the first thing I saw, so I thought I'd give it a shot to see. Um, but then the basement was right next to the kitchen, so why not go to the basement? I do see some ski goggles. The ski goggles are worth it in my eyes. Uh, just one in particular, the other one's a little bit beat up, so I didn't get it, so I just got that one. And I'm circling around the house and everything. Which also reminds me that this house is a 1.2 million house, uh, four bedrooms, two and a half baths, 3,935 square feet. It sold at 822,000 in 2012. So within, uh, what is that? 11 years, it, went, it jumped up to 1.2 million. It's a pretty good neighborhood and wow. If only I could afford a house like that. I would do reselling all the time. Full time, but I don't. Anyway, back to the lecture at hand. I am looking in the basement. I see a laminator. It's been open already. I didn't want to bother with that. And I'm just searching around since I'm in the basement already. Usually basements, you can find all sorts of stuff um, and things that actually estate sale companies kind of neglect and has some value to it. But looking at it, I didn't see much. I'm sorry. Yeah, no problem. Yeah. There is. I don't know. I really have that face where everybody wants to talk to me, which I don't mind. It's just funny that, you know, everywhere I go, not even reselling, I could be out in the street and somebody just starts having a full blown conversation with me. I don't know. I guess it's just one of those faces that. Yeah, you could talk to me or something like that, but it's kind of funny. Oops, sorry. <laughs> So I'm looking at the plush on the shelves. I do see this Cookie Monster. It's seen better days. It has some yellowing on the eyes, uh, but it looks old. And looking at the tag for it, it's Knickerbocker. And if you're not familiar with Knickerbocker, um, they are a really old toy company. I think they went out of business in the 1980s, sometime around that time. So they are 
sought after for plush dolls. You saw me picked up that Eeyore, I believe so, and uh, I, I eventually I put that one back, but I went to the side just to comp things out before moving on. So I went into this other room, I see a lot of scarves, some of the scarf brand names have some value to it. Look at the hats, they're more local stuff, um, so local companies in my area, not worth that much, so I pass on those. Then I come across these uh, stereoscope slides. So back then, before Viewmaster came into the picture, people back in the days used to look at photos um, at a distance and it had like sort of like a 3D perspective to it. So I picked up a box full of it. They are more in that basket, but at a dollar a piece, and there's so many of them, I didn't want to count them and give them a price for it. I just wanted to just get a handful, which was in the box. And the box had a separate value to it, so I figure I got the better stuff from that box. In that box, there was some Sears Roebuck old pictures, and those are really old school that, that I remember, and it's even before my time too. So I figure, you know, pick them up, you know, it's nice, history, historic, why not? The little sigh you heard me is because this house is so big so i'm glad that it didn't have piles of stuff on top of each other uh, it's manageable but it's a lot of walking in between rooms if you don't know already for estate sales i do three loops usually so i'm giving you the abbreviated video right now uh, i'll save you the trouble of me going three times around but that's to ensure that i got everything that i wanted So I'm in the clothing area now. A lot of the clothes were extra small, so especially for the women wear. So I assume that it was a very small lady. Uh, she likes some of the Asian wear I could see, but she also liked brand names. There was a lot of Kate Spade stuff. And um, they had a Komodo there. Uh, the Komodo robe, it, when I felt it, it, it didn't feel all silk. It felt like it had some mixed blend in it too. It was still heavy, but they were asking $75 for it. And kimonos, from what I gathered, they usually go for about 100 So not much, uh, you know, there it is. There's the kimono. Um, and I, I didn't want to pick it up. Maybe day two, I might drop by there and see if it's discounted. But I didn't see any significant details so of where where it was made who made it stuff like that i do see like a dangling uh thread on it so i don't know i assume maybe there was a a label there that someone pulled off so i didn't pick that up but i did pick up some other clothing items wow i need lots of shoes mm -hmm. These are tiny shoes, though. Oh, I'm so sorry. But you know what I was actually looking at? Oh, no, these are a little skirts. Oh, yeah, these are skirts. I thought they were scarves. Yeah, this was a tiny little person, yeah. Yeah, extra small. I saw some stuff that was extra small. Yeah, it's pretty I mean, small. Yeah. Well, look at, like, this is a skirt that they wore. Yeah. <laughs> like, I wouldn't have been able to wear that since I was in fifth grade. <laughs> Not modestly, anyway. 
<laughs> I don't think I, no, I mean, I don't think I put it up over, my, over myself. That's some nice uh, suits. But Kim and I work from home. Yeah, don't need it. Mine is collecting dust. Don't really need it. Nope. Oh, that tiny, the extra small kind of thing. Here we go, honey. Oh, a smoking jacket. $16. It's a smoking jacket. Is it? Yeah. Is it a pajama top? Oh, this Kate Spade jacket, I know it's for a woman, um, but it wasn't extra small, that's exactly so that's do, a though. good thing, because size matters too when you sell. Exactly for some you reason, do. people like large, extra large, extra, extra large, but this is Kate Spade. It looks good, um, and I'm just trying okay, to find right. any comps because I can't tell the difference between all the different variations with Kate Spade. I don't know what this is called. So I'm going to use Google Lens to see if I could get some kind of information. If not, then I'll maybe I'll try the photos from eBay, stuff like that. And then last resort, just type in like Kate Spade puffy jacket and see what I could find. So that's what I've been doing for things that I have no clue on. And, you know, clothing is another thing that I'm trying to learn. And, you know, how you learn, you make mistakes, you buy stuff, see if it sells, if it's not, then you, you live and learn, right? So just like kitchenware, I'm learning clothing. As a reseller, I feel like you should broaden your knowledge. In case you can't find the thing that you're strong in, at least you have a fallback and you have other things you can look for. Next up is a Burberry uh, dress shirt. It seems like a no-brainer because it has the tag and everything. When you're buying clothes, make sure there's no holes or rips or tears in it, obviously. Hi, lots yeah. of shoes. The person's a tiny person because I saw like extra small stuff. Yeah. Yeah. This is nice, but I'm not, I'm not sure I want to pay seventy five dollars for a kimono. Yeah, I do think because then you'd want to try to get more for it. Yeah. It's in really good shape. It is. It's very heavy though. <sighs> I'm debating about it always, but I'm not gonna make. That much off of it. Yeah. Yeah. It's pretty hefty. You want to feel? Yeah. I wonder if they got it in travels. Maybe. I, there's no tag. I can't find any kind of tag on it too. So I don't know if they ripped it off or what. Sometimes there's no tag if it was specially made for you. Yeah, but it has like a loose thread here. It tells me that it might have been pulled off. Ah. Uh. So yeah guys, that Komodo for $75, I pass on it. I believe it only goes for about 100 in the 100 um, ballpark figure. But you let me know if I should have picked that Komodo up. Now I could go day two and see if it's still there. But I, I probably could guarantee someone picked it up. But I don't know, $75 seems a lot to me. But you let me know should I picked it up or not. shoes I didn't see anything that I would pick up and then these particular lady shoes also I didn't feel a need to pick them up kind of small in size like I said earlier that this seems to be a really petite uh, you know lady that lived here it was extra small clothing really small sh shoe size so I pass on those as well anyway I'm gonna say adieu. Um, thank you for watching. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't. And I'm gonna show you my haul and the comps.
So the first up is this vintage uh, Cookie Monster. Then we have the Ski Goggles. Then something very deceiving, Gumby. It's actually worth some money. And then we have Kate Spade jacket. And then we have the Burberry dress shirt with the tag. And then something fun, antique. Uh, these slides from back in the days. Here's an example of one from uh, Sears Roebuck. Sears has been around since the 1800s if you haven't noticed. But anyway, here are the comps. 